right. Who says James can't walk on water? There he is. There's the water. There he is, moving around. Do, 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 do. Walking on water. He made me do that. Okay. Let's get serious now. We have an image of uh, James walking on the beach. And I've already made a selection of him, and I've put him on another layer, as you can tell. There he is. And I use the... Uh, uh, magnetic lasso tool. I'm not going to go through all those steps right now. Just That's how I created the selection. I didn't feather it. I selected it, put it on, on his own layer. Because what I want to show you is something a little bit different. Hopefully this will work. We're going to go on the bottom layer, which is the layer we're going to work on with the blurring of the water. Motion blur. And it's blurring in the direction of the water we want it to go to, so this might adjust that a little more. Maybe not too, too strong. Say about that. And the reason I put him on his own layer uh, was because James told me to. Actually, he pointed this out. You can tell there's some ghosting of the image, so you don't want to have that showing up when you go to your race back to the water history state. And so that way you put him on his own layer, and it's going to take care of that. See? Bing! So anyways, uh, we go back in history, and we put the history brush right there, click on the history brush, and now we can start blurring the water, and I hope this is going to work. We had a lot of fun with this. Ah, we still have ghosting, but why, oh wise one, do we have ghosting? Okay. Got to clone them out. That's easy enough. I can do that. See, I learn as I... Let's go back in history. Okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to modify. I just got instructions from the wise one behind me here. We're going to click off the top layer. And we're going to take... <laughs> it's just so simple, and yet at the same time, it's so elegantly effective. So we're going to go in, we're just going to clone him right out. Yeah, no, yeah, he's on the top layer. He's, he's bugging me, he's behind me, he's breathing down my neck, making sure I do this right. So we want to avoid that ghosting. There he is. But this is on its own layer, obviously. So... We're on the bottom layer now. Now, now let's do some fancy blurring. Motion blur. Woo! Okay. I won't sing, I promise. So we're going to go back in history. And if you feel a thud, that's James hit me in the back of the head. And I know, I know he'll do a better job, but we're just going to show you the basic principles and we'll not blur that much. But the idea is to create a nice, real blurring effect of the water. So it almost looks like he's walking on water. We have to credit his wife, Jocelyn, for taking this picture, although it was under his wise guidance and instruction. So she's the one that pushed the button. So basically that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to come in here and just clone out a little bit of that stuff that stuff. I'm going to burn the bot top. Whatever. Okay. Let's go in. He's got that suntan. We're going to go in. I'm going to dodge his face a bit. But of course, we got to be on the right layer. Well, you know what? I'm going to solve that right now. I'm going to flatten the image. And I'm just going to dodge his face a little bit. And there it is. There it is in a nutshell. James walking on water using the blurred technique. Very, very simple. Try it out. It works.